I want to welcome everybody back to Woody Shrooms. Today we're going to be doing hardwood spawn blocks. What you're going to need is hardwood pellets, a wheat bran, distilled water, spawn bags, and a pressure cooker. This is Woody from Woody Shrooms. Best thing to do is use a five gallon bucket. You want to make the spawn blocks for mushrooms. I use these to grow lion's mane, reishi, turkey tail, uh, any of the hardwood loving types of mushrooms. And you're going to be needing five cups of pellets and one and a quarter cups of your bran and 1.4 liters of water. This recipe is for one five pound block of sawdust spawn. So what I'm doing here is for three blocks or three five pound blocks. Uh, pour the water in with your pellets and then watch it as it absorbs the water and they start to expand. You can buy your hardwood pellets at any hardware store, um, Canadian Tire, that type of thing. Uh, here the pellets are expanding quite well and then you want to mix it in really well and make sure that everything is saturated and broken apart. Mix in the wheat bran or the wheat flour or rice bran flour, whatever you want to use. And they have to be hardwood pellets, you cannot use softwood pellets. You want to mix this in really good because you don't want any dead spots in your sawdust that don't have any bran. If there's no bran you might have a block that stalls out in areas and you don't want that to happen because then contamination can form. I like to bag these up in a bin and as you see there I messed up and made a mess so uh, I like to do this this way saves on cleanup later and then you can just tip the bin upside down and bang the rest of it into one of the bags that's needing extra. At this point I fold the bags up, I put a piece of Tyvek in there to help them breathe a little bit better I guess when they're being pressure cooked. These do get pressure cooked for two and a half hours. I do put extra lids in the bottom of the pressure cooker, put the trivet on top and then fill it with water to where you think you're going to have enough water uh, to boil it for two and a half hours at 15 psi. Uh, go ahead and pack them in there. As I pack them in there I realized that I didn't want the Tyvek to wick water up into the bag as it was cooking so I just folded them all across each other on top, placed the lid on it and that's about it. At this point you want to put your lid on the pressure cooker, build it up to pressure and when that starts rocking 15 psi you want to turn the temperature down to medium high and let it go for two and a half hours. Sawdust is very dense it needs to cook that long. These are the bags I use. I get them from Amazon. They are $48 Canadian for 50 bags. I will have a link below. Let the pressure cooker cool down overnight and then I place the bags in front of the flow hood. Uh, here I'm going to be doing a lion's mane liquid culture injection. I spray down the packages of the needle and the syringe just in case. Uh, wipe down the outside of the bag and the port on the bottle of liquid culture. You want to suck up as much liquid culture into the syringe as possible and then inject it into either a port on your bag which I don't have so I just go right through the bag and I will cover that up later with some tape. So I'm going to give it a double dose here. I just want to make sure it gonna, it's going to colonize and then I cover it up with some fiber tape so it, it's micropore tape you can let it breathe this way you shouldn't get anything into it I haven't had any issues this way mark the bag with the date and what's in it so this is lion's mane now we're going to be adding grain spawn to the other two bags I use a tennis ball to break them up um, instead of breaking your hand some people use a tire. The tennis ball works pretty good for the most part. As you can see my efforts were in vain because it did not break up very well. 
I had to take the lid off and dig around at it to get it broken up a little bit better. It's probably because it was in the jar for too long. The best way I found to get the grain spawn down into the bottom of the bag rapidly is to make a channel down the main side of the bag. And then you take your grain spawn, you pour it in the top of the bag, and it flows right down to the bottom. Try not to get the top of that sawdust down there first, but that grain spawn went right down to the bottom. You want to mix that up the best you can to get your colonization as fast as possible. The faster it colonizes, the better chance you have of a successful, complete colonized bag with no bacteria or mold involved. Here I'm looking at my bag thinking I have a 10 inch bag and an 8 inch sealer. So what I did was I figured that I would seal the bag at a 45 degree angle across each corner and then seal the bag through the middle. And that did work. When you go to seal a bag, you push down on it and it, it seals and then the red light goes off. I hold it longer on the sealer to make sure it cools a little because if you don't, you can actually open the bag up when you pull it off of the sealer. Mark your bags with what it is and the date on it so you know what you got. I want to thank everybody for joining me on this video. There's going to be a lot more coming. Please subscribe. Much love, everybody.